Let's just get to this breaking news and the deliveries from Boeing. They're poor. We probably expected it. We did, and I mean, again, it, it's sort of a, a, a good story, bad story Boeing, for Boeing here. And I mean, of course, the delivery numbers are not what they want them to be, not what their customers want them to be, but this is the result of the company really taking the time to hopefully get to the bottom of its quality control issues here. And remember, the FAA has capped Boeing's production rate at about 38 um, 737 jets per month. Now, they are nowhere near that pace right now, um, and it's going to slip even further because they're really trying to dial back on this concept of traveled work. And what that means is putting a priority on moving that plane through the production process, even if you don't have all the parts, even if the quality control isn't where it should be. Boeing is moving away from that. They're taking a step back and really trying to drill into safety and their engineering processes. Now, that is a good thing in the long run, but certainly not going to show up in their delivery numbers right here in the short term. And let's just reaffirm what the delivery numbers are, Brooke, because it's 83 jets were delivered in the first quarter, lowest since the second quarter of 2021. Interestingly, 29 jets in March were sold, and that's 24 737 maxes. It clearly just shows the importance of this particular model. And I'm noting that they were booking 113 gross orders in March and only two cancellations. Is any of this really putting off demand for the 737 max? I don't think that it is overall because you have a duopoly uh, in aircraft manufacturing and Airbus is sold out of its marquee narrow body jet model into the 2030s. So if you are an airline, and you need planes, you really only have uh, one option in the short term, and that is Boeing. And I think that, to your point, shows just how important this airplane is and how important it is that Boeing ultimately gets this right and gets to the bottom of what their quality control issues are. Now, they are losing market share to Airbus. The Airbus has been able to pull ahead, specifically in that narrow body jet market. Um, they are winning more orders, but you're certainly not seeing demand fall off a cliff for Boeing. And I think that does provide some support, but also some encouragement for the company to just try to figure this out and get the customers the jets that they want to buy they want to fly from Boeing and let's just dig into Airbus because we're anticipating deliveries there in fact it was under pressure more than the rest of the French benchmark earlier today what are we seeing in terms of ultimate economic sentiment hitting both Airbus and Boeing and is there any sort of tech angles we can weave in here I mean, I think air travel demand has held up pretty well. I mean, even in this inflationary environment, you're still seeing strong demand for air travel. Um, and, you know, really both Boeing and Airbus have a demand problem, uh, or sorry, have a supply problem at the end of the day, not a demand problem. Um, and, you know, the, the onus is on them to be able to churn out these airplanes um, and get them to customers.